Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel being Louisa. Today's video was requested by one of you guys, so let's go. Last week I was asked by Charlotte to do a video on how I organised my college work. I, I have a confession. How I intended to organise my college work and how I actually organised it are two separate things. How I intended to organise it was to have um, a folder for each subject or a notebook for each subject but it just didn't happen that way like I never actually went back to my rooms to buy more folders because I only bought three folders and three notebooks so I never really went I never went back to buy more I bought those before college started so I didn't have my timetable at the time then when I've got my timetable it kind of seems unrealistic to have a, a folder and a notebook for every single subject just because there was quite a bit of subject and plus I was at college two days a week so it's not like I could take one folder and one notebook to college I would have been taking I think I had like five lessons a day so I would have been taking like five notebooks and five folders which is just really unrealistic so how I ended up starting off because you'll see I, I'll tell you but like throughout the year my organization skills kind of like decreased <laughs> I'm really forgetful so I used to forget bringing in a certain folder or bringing in a certain book so, and it was a lot to bring, bring my laptop, two notebook, um, a folder and a big book and it was just like way too much to carry all that way to college because my college is like an hour and a half away and that's by train. So yeah, it was way too much to take all that in. But how I first intended it to be was I had three folders, which I still have. I'll kind of show you them. We have this purple one, which I had... Um, Right now it looks like a total mess because I just put crap everywhere now. But it was originally, it sorted out like I had one partition here. So it said human system Mondays. And then I had a second partition in that same folder that says... So the second partition said human system Tuesdays. All of my science-based modules, that's why I class as human systems. So I bring that one in on both days and then my second folder, my second folder was dedicated to my research project, which, which was a whole load of things. In the end, it ended up being loads and loads of paperwork, but to be honest, it was pretty empty for a while. <laughs> then my last folder, which is actually basically completely empty, was dedicated to communications and psychosocial, which were like more academic based ones. Um, however, there really wasn't much I had to put in here because it was more us taking notes and I ended up keeping my notes in my notepad a lot of the time. So yeah, um, so what I ended up doing with this one, which is why it's empty now, is I ended up putting in all my completed assignments that I'd gotten back with my marks and comments on them in here until I knew I had to give them back because they told us at the beginning of the year that we'd have to give it back for when the warning body's going to go and look over them to make sure they've been marked correctly. So that's what I intended to do with those. I then also had a mini A5 notebook, which I had partitioned into each section that I would have homework for, and there's one on the back as well. I had five main modules, which is what I put here, and then one at the back. So I would put my any homework or assignments I had to do, I would put in here. So that's kind of what I like, managed to do for a while. I hardly write down my assignments because I'm just so, I'm literally, I'm so forgetful. I would write it down in my notebook and I'd forget to transfer it over into this book because I just, I didn't have the effort. Which brings me on to my notebook. So um, I had, I have these. So I have a blue one that I just started using, but that's for something completely different. <laughs> and then, mind how broken this is but i started using this one in january so the first two i started using so one for the science based subject and one for the academic based subject that's kind of how i was doing it but after a while if you forget to bring one or it was just too much so what i would end up doing is just like leaving all my notes in and writing down the day like i'll show you <gasps> don't read my notes because sometimes they don't make sense but See how it just has the date and then like some stuff. So it would have the date and I'll just write like human systems and then whatever we're learning that day. And I'll keep on going. There's some of these because of when I was doing my assignment, it was easy to just put a sticky tab down so I knew where to go when I was doing referencing back to my work and stuff when doing assignments. But from January, I just ended up doing all my notes in one of these and just, yeah, 
it's something simple that I actually end up like leaving in any um, handouts we had, I'd, I would leave them in the notebook as well. So it was bulging, which is why it's broken. <laughs> um, but anyway, so that's kind of how I ended up doing it. If you are a really organised person, I feel like my first plan or my second plan might help you. I hope this helps you, but I feel like I'm not a very organised person. So if you're like me, try not to like be too fancy smancy with organising your work. Just kind of do what I did at the end of the year, which was just like use one notebook for all your days you're at college. Just make sure you write down the date, obviously, and then make sure you write down what um, bracket of subject it comes under. So like human systems, communication, whatever it comes under. Make sure you write down the bracket of what it comes under and then write down the title of the class and then can do your notes like that. Because it's just easier and it's easy to like just go to one notebook, especially if it's for like a couple of months you had that notebook. And make sure you get handouts, write down the date and that you've got that handout just so it's easy reference when you're looking for things. You know, if you're looking at your notes and it has that certain date on it, you can find your handout that has that date on it so you know where to go to when you're doing your assignments. Super simple, super easy. Have a couple folders. You don't need a whole bunch, like, which I kind of wish I, I wanted a whole bunch, but I, I'm glad I didn't get a whole bunch because it would be wasteful. <laughs> but yeah, so don't get a whole bunch and don't do anything comp too crazy. Just keep it nice and simple if you're not a planner like me. But if you are going to organise yourself and you are a good planner, get yourself a five to put down all your homeworks and assignments because I know a lot of other people in my class did that and they were super on top of it. So make sure to do that as well if you are good at planning. But I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions, suggestions or video ideas. And don't forget to subscribe to get a weekly update. Bye y'all.